What's up guys, wanted to bring you my review of my personal favorite helmet, the best helmet I've ever had, and that is the Scorpion EXO R1 Air Carbon. If that's not a mouthful, um, I don't know what it is. This has been a great helmet for me. Absolutely love this helmet. Uh, I love the carbon look, the feel, and of course, my favorite part of this helmet, how light it is. Um, of course, I actually have a Senna on this, so it adds a little bit of extra weight. I'm surprised how much weight it actually adds when you put it on the helmet, but this helmet has been amazing. Love this thing. If you're looking for a new helmet that is light, um, this is my pick. I actually, after going carbon, I will never ever go back to something that's not carbon, or at least this this weight. Um, it's absolutely incredible to ride with, especially on long trips. It really saves uh, that that pain that you get in your shoulders or anything like that. So first, let's talk about comfort. As you can see here, you've got a really nice uh, piece here that's keeping a lot of the wind out when you're going down the road. That is a huge benefit, especially in the winter. Uh, you can, I think, yeah, you can take this out if you want. So if you wanted more airflow in the summer, you could do that. Um, and then of course you have the emergency straps here for the EMTs, if something were to happen, easy access to get that thing off. As you can see here, you've got the nice little bridge that goes over your nose. Um, this is also, you can take this out as well if you like, uh, but I like the look of it. I just think it looks really nice and it also helps keep some of the your breath off of the lens. Speaking of fog, this setup does come with one of Scorpion's uh, Pinlock anti-fog lenses. Basically what that is, is you've got these uh, pins here in the side of the helmet and you've got this covering. I don't know if you can see it up in there, but you've got this basically another layer. It's almost like another lens that fits up inside this lens and it wedges between these two um, pins. And of course it talks about pin lock because it's referring to this here. You've got this little cutout for the pin lock that goes down in locks in front of the helmet, which is also a nice little feature. Never had that before, but it is kind of nice. The only main problem I see with the anti-fog lens on this helmet, it works 100%, no problems whatsoever. I can breathe as much as I want in the winter, no fog, problem. It only comes with one. Since you don't have the drop down visor, when I'm out at night, I have to switch between the dark visor from the daytime and switch into the night visor and basically, I don't have two of these. And it's you know it's one of those things where when you put it on there, it has to seal perfect. So it's not really something you wanna interchange a lot. So for me, that's kind of a loss. They should have included two of these and I've been in the market looking for them and they're not that easy to find. So when you get the helmet, if you have the option to get a secondary one of these anti-fog lenses, jump on that as soon as you can because uh, they're a bit hard to find. Let's talk about airflow. So the airflow on this thing, decent. I've honestly never felt like any helmet had any great amount of airflow except for when you do that. <laughs> um, you know, something I do like to do is sometimes I'll just give it a little crack there at the bottom and I'll ride, you know, if I'm not going down the highway or anything, you can give that a crack and, and it'll just kind of let some airflow in. It does have four ports, uh, so you can get that through airflow. The back port does not have an open close feature. It's just always open. And then you've got the open up here, open close, and then you've got the open close right here. I do like the look of that kind of, kind of cool looking when that drops down. So yeah, it's a pretty cool helmet. I, I did go for the neon green on here as well since I do ride a lot at night, safety was a concern. So I did go with the neon green and I actually like how it looks. Um, I think it looks pretty good. So this helmet does ring in right at 3.15 pounds without the Senna. Uh, and so that's pretty stinking light for a helmet and makes for an absolute great ride. Um, I've never had any hot spots or anything on this in my head. Something that's great about all the Scorpion helmet, well, the, I think it's the EXO line, I could be mistaken. They do have this little pump here, so you can actually pump up the cheek pads if you want to get a little bit more of a precise fit. And uh, so yeah, that's great, especially after you have a helmet for a while, you probably know that you do get a bit of an issue with pads wearing in and the helmet doesn't fit like it used to when it was brand new. So that pump is great. It gets you a little bit more life out of the pads and it's another bonus in this helmet. Okay, here's my bugaboo with this helmet. Love this thing. When I got this, I was so excited and I really wanted to put my Cinna on here. 
Well, when you get inside of this helmet, I can't show you without really getting up in there, but this helmet is not really made to have those Cine ear pieces up inside and the sides of the ears. So it kind of made it really uncomfortable and I had to really mess with them for a long time. It wasn't easy. I had a helmet before this that was made for a Cine and you can just pop the, you know, it had little ins cutouts in there and you can just drop the, the, um, the ear pieces in there and it was great. Never changed the comfort of the helmet. So that is one major negative for me. Uh, it's kind of something that I always have to finagle now to get my head in. I have to make sure my ears fit in there correctly. So that that's kind of a negative, but I have figured it out now and I've gone on a couple of trips. Kind of wears after a while with having my ears touching those things, not so comfortable, but without it, this is the most comfortable, hands down, most comfortable helmet I've ever worn in my life. Um, and I've worn a lot of helmets. So the price of this helmet, Scorpion EXO R1 Air Carbon is ringing in right at $549 on RevZilla.com. Uh, love that website, I buy a lot of my stuff from there. Um, so $549 on RevZilla, I think it's a pretty decent price for the helmet that you're getting. Also Scorpion is giving you a five year warranty on this helmet. So if anything happens to the helmet, you can always send it back in and redeem on the warranty. That is a manufacturer warranty by the way, so not with RevZilla, you'd have to go through Scorpion. Final thoughts, if I was going to buy a helmet again, would I buy this helmet? I think I would. Um, I would definitely recommend this helmet. If you are really, really going to go with a Senna or something comparable, any kind of comm system, I think maybe I would look at a different helmet uh, just because the comfort of the, the pods inside the helmet are not that great. So I would probably go with a different helmet if you were looking at a Senna. If you're just looking for a helmet and you don't plan on having any comms, man. That I don't think you can choose anything better than this. Um, this helmet's great. This design is actually the same helmet that Scorpion's riders use in the uh, MotoGP. So it's very similar to that helmet, looks the same, and it's just a stunning helmet to look at. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.